Hello all, welcome to part 42 of TestNG training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use this timeout attribute in TestNG. So let's get started. So what exactly is this timeout attribute? So timeout attribute is generally specified with at the rate test annotation, okay? The methods which are provided with at the rate test annotation has a lot of attributes, guys. Timeout is one of the attributes. So what will happen when you specify this timeout attribute beside the at the rate test annotation? This timeout attribute will decide the maximum time for the test to get executed. If the test doesn't get executed in this specified time, the test is going to fail. If the test successfully gets executed within the specified time, the test is going to pass. This is what in simple words is a timeout attribute, guys. Sometimes we get some client requirement saying that this particular okay scenario or test should not take more than this much time. If it is taking too much of time than given in the client requirements, then we are going to fail this and report them to the developers as a defects. Okay. To automate such kind of things, we have to use this timeout attribute to see whether this particular test case or a method should not be taking this much of time. Okay. Not more than the given time. Okay. If it's taking more than the time, it is going to fail. Okay. So let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll open Eclipse IDE, guys. And here I'll create a new class. I'll right click and select new sample class. Inside this, I'll create a test method. Okay, inside the sample class, I'll create a test method. Okay, just give me a second. Public void. Let's say this is sample test only. Okay, sample test. I'll write some automation code here. At the rate test annotation I will provide. Uh, I will not directly go to the timeout attribute, guys. First, I will I will demonstrate this uh, test for you. I will run this test for you without specifying any timeout here. Okay. First, I will write some Selenium automation code, some sample Selenium automation code. Web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup. Then web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Then driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Then driver dot get import this Chrome driver class also from Selenium. And here give the URL, guys. I'll I'll take a different URL this time. Oh my dot blogspot.com. I'll take. I'll copy this URL. And uh, after going to that URL, what I will do here is I'll just type some text into the text area field. Inspect this text area field. This text area field has an ID. Copy this ID and simply say driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID. Dot send keys. I'll type my some details. Okay. Uh, I, I, like uh, my name is Arun Motori. Like this, I'll type into the text area field. And uh, after typing, I just want to close the browser. That's it. Okay. Driver dot quit. Driver dot quit. Okay. I'll just type my name is Arun Motori here and then I'll quit the browser. This is what I wanted to do. But how much time this particular test method is actually taking, we can find it out first of all. Okay. Before we use any attribute like timeout attribute here and specify the time in which this particular test method need to be completed execution. Before that, let's naturally find out how much time this particular test method is actually taking. Okay. Run this. The Chrome browser will launch, it will maximize, and it will open the application URL specified in that get method. Then it is going to type, uh, it will be very fast sometimes. You see, the test got passed, and uh, let's see. It took something around 12 seconds, 12.216, okay? What if uh, the client gave a requirement where it should be completed in eight seconds? So. I'll give an attribute here. According to the client requirements, I am giving this. Assume that, okay? Timeout. Timeout attribute is equal to. I'll give 8,000 milliseconds. For the mouse. This is time out or. Okay. I'll give double quotes and. Uh, I think this is not the thing, first of all. 
time out change to time out if i change to time out then a okay 8000 now it is working fine this is time out attribute guys okay yeah even if you go with data provider data provider p will be capital right so it follows camel case okay so here also i need to change guys i just made a mistake here time out okay this is a time out attribute so the second words first letter should be in capital guys okay if you i thought like it will be completely lowercase but it's not okay the second uh, second words first letter is capital time out is equal to 8000 means 8000 milliseconds guys over the mouse uh, you'll get all the details milliseconds you have to give in milliseconds you are giving 8000 milliseconds is 8 seconds if this particular test method doesn't complete in 8 seconds then what will happen the test will fail let's see whether the test will pass or fail okay i i too don't know whether it will pass or fail okay sometimes it happens surprisingly the test may be completed within 80 sec 8 seconds also we don't know let's see naturally let's see how much time it's loading the application application page is loading then it has to type some text into the text area field no it failed guys you see timeout exception already has come uh, the timeout related exception may have already come because next steps have not been done and the browser has not been closed that means this particular test method has already taken good amount of time and it is exceeding the time that we have given and it failed you see sample test code failed what is the reason for the exception you can find it here thread timeout exception method test sample sample test didn't finish within the timeout eight seconds within the eight second it's in complete guys it took more than whatever that is mentioned what if uh, i got a client requirement specifying that uh, this should not take more than 15 seconds if i give 15000 milliseconds and see let's see whether if if this particular test completes within that uh, 15 seconds the test need to pass right let's run this and see the browser will close guys automatically driver quit uh, because exception will come means uh, test will stop there itself and uh, browser closing all will not happen okay otherwise you have to put them in the after test method and then only the browser will close now it happened properly because i gave 15 seconds and it completed in 9 seconds 9.9 .9, almost near to 10 seconds earlier when i gave 8 seconds it was not unable to complete and uh, because while loading the page itself it was taking a lot of time so it didn't do any other stuff okay this last two lines were not executed in the previous run now since i gave 15 seconds uh, it got enough time to run and all but here we, i should not decide the time guys okay client has to decide the time okay according to the performance uh, expectations and needs of the client if you get a requirement where a particular test need to be completed within this time this much time or a set of test methods should be completed in this much time only then we may have to use the timeout attribute okay so in real time like it's not that much uh, i didn't see people using this timeout but uh, there may be some cases where people may use timeout okay it's not uh, it's not a frequently used attribute i can say but this is a functionality the test method need to complete the execution within the specified time maximum time if it exceeds this maximum time that is specified you'll your the test will fail and you'll get that exception that i have shown you okay that's what is the timeout guys so i'll remove the timeout from here there's no need of timeout okay so fine so hope you understood what exactly is timeout and uh, how to use with the test methods okay and uh, it all depends to use this timeout attribute whenever only when you get requirements from your client specifying that this particular method should be run or completed run complete running in complete execution in within the specified time like 15 seconds or 8 seconds or 5 seconds whatever the time they give that we have to put there and then uh, if the test uh, com executes completely executes within that time the test will pass otherwise the test will give you an exception and the remaining steps will not be executed okay so that's all for this session guys in the next session i'm going to cover another test engine topic for you till then see you bye bye